Yeah, it's funny you mentioned that, and this is anecdotal only. Um, in Englewood, Florida, uh, there are uh, three storage facilities within a two-mile radius of where our place is, and I called one that had been open for just a year, and they had a waiting list just to get a unit there. And uh, like I said, there's three within really bicycle distance. <laughs> And they're already full. And that's a, that's a really good sign. So when we project our lease up metrics, we're typically looking at about a two and a half to a three and a half percent absorption per month. So if I have a thousand unit facility every month, I'm assuming that two and a half to three, three and a half percent of those units will be leased up, which typically means that for me to get, go from zero to 90% occupied, it's going to take me 24 to 36 months. So sure. if you go into markets where guys are having wait lists and are completely full within one year, that's a sign to say, hey, I need to go build in this market because there is right. so much pent up demand. Yeah. You know, part of the problem with lots of areas of Florida, particularly along the coast, is that there is not as much buildable land available where the people are. Um, and so that becomes a struggle, uh, being able to find the land at the right price. Well, if you find it, I bet, I bet Fernando would come there and build it. I'm sure. <laughs> so, do you, uh, <laughs> do you utilize the Walmart effect at all? And when you're looking for development, we do, we're actually buying a Walmart right now in Texas, right by South Padre Island. Uh, so if, if I think I know what you're alluding to, what Walmart likes to do is they will set up a Walmart on in one uh, town and then they'll set up a second Walmart, maybe a couple towns over. And then what they'll do if they see they have enough demand from both Walmarts is they'll shut both of those down and they'll build a super Walmart in the middle. So what we do is we'll come in and we'll buy those auxiliary Walmart stores and then convert them into self storage. And the reason right. we like Walmarts is that they, they actually, uh, they keep their properties pretty nice. They do a lot of the, the maintenance as it comes available. Uh, same thing with Sears buildings. We found that a lot of the Sears stores, when they were wound down before the company uh, shuttered that portion of its corporation, that they did a lot of preventative maintenance so that they can sell those properties for top dollar. So the roofs are in pretty good condition. The facades are in pretty good condition. The mechanicals, electrical, and plumbing are in pretty, pretty good conditions.